before we start this video, something I'm going to talk about. Three days ago, Akira Toriyama, the creator who, well, created the beloved franchise that we all know this very day, Dragon Ball, has passed away at the age of 30, not 36, sorry, my bad, I'm a little tired, age of 68. Three days have passed since it happened, and I, me, and many others, especially me, I have I have not been feeling like myself lately because of that. I felt like someone just ripped out a piece of my my my. my you, can say, you can say you can say childhood. In my it took it out of my heart, just just spit in my face, and uh, it hurts. I didn't want to make this review because well, it's dragon related, and I I felt like. I felt uncomfortable. I felt like uncomfortable uploading it. This video is not monetized, so I'm just gonna be totally honest. In this video, I'm not going to like disrespect him nor no way. No, I don't do that. I want to talk about this video. I'm going to appreciate why I love Dragon Ball, why the character that he created had a huge impact through my life from middle school to teenage year to my adult years right now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, Kira Toyama, for creating a lot of fun memories for me and my little brother when we watched, well, Kai. <laughs> when we played the video games as well. And about me buying all the merchandise too. <laughs> and yeah. Dragon Ball will still live on, and his legacy, his legacy will, his legacy still continues to this very day. And hey, Dragon Ball Diamond's coming out this year. I'm actually excited for that, right? I'm actually excited for that, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, but yeah, that yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, that's all I want to say. I'll talk to you guys. Well, I, I, I'll talk to you guys next video. But yeah, on to the actual video. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely, awesome host, Brokusatsu, and I'm here today to review, well, the figure, the figure, the figure actually was released last year, but uh, I got my from P. Bandai this year. But anyway, <laughs> we're here to review the, the Tomashi Nation Essays figure, St. Diego Comic Con event exclusive, Majin Vegeta. And you're gonna say what's the difference between this guy and the and the original version? It's actually not a lot. I know this. There's like there's like a few things different about this guy. Way better than the original. Well, for starter, the color blue is more. Well, so for starter, the color blue is more uh, accurate on this version because well, look at the original. Look at the first release. That color blue is, is inaccurate as heck. This one's more accurate, and I love that. And also, unlike the original version, the colors, the skin, like the skin, like t palette tones for his, is way more like look, look way more accurate, more detailed. Because I feel like I felt like the original version wasn't detailed enough. And I say that, Kai, you to have the original release, not anymore. I sold that like two years ago to a friend. But this guy's this guy's really this guy just how can I say this? Feel satisfied if that makes sense. Now, now let's talk about the hair. This hair is way more well. You kind of say translucent, 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 and uh, more like color and more like uh colored in than the original release. I do love how it shows on camera that uh, it's like uh, it completely it completely one hundred percent blonde because well well that was that what Super Saiyan two is supposed to look like because uh, this version this version of Majin Vegeta is just Super Saiyan two Vegeta and I love Super Saiyan two Vegeta but personally Majin Vegeta is my favorite version of Vegeta because well I love the fight for him Goku is my all time favorite fight in the whole anime. Yeah. So, uh, so does this Vegeta have the exact same uh, feature as the original, as the other two point oh version? Yes and no. First off, uh, yeah, you can take his head off and put it on another two point oh Vegeta heads on here. That's like too easy. 
Also, this is how far he goes from up here to up here to up, oh, pff, oh duh. This, this, this is how far he goes from here to here to here to here. If you had like a different Jew figure, then uh, you already know what's up. This is this is how far his arms go. Yeah, my yeah my copy can't put his arms up fully. I have no idea why, but this is how far it goes. And this is how far his legs go too. Yes, you can put the boy in his natural fighting pose. You can put the boy in his national fighting pose like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, to be fair, you can put you can put him like in any pose, and uh, yeah. Yeah, he yeah he yeah he has to look like a badass. Excuse my language. <sighs> All right, let's put you in your regular stance. If I'm gonna ask me where did I got this, well again, I got this from Pete Bandai. I pre-ordered him last year, and oh uh, well he. And uh, well, unfortunately, I never went to San. I never went to San Diego Comic Con. Never, never, never been to one, to be honest. And uh, when I heard that, uh, when I heard that uh, they are sound, they they are planning on selling these on P Bandai. I said, you know, no, let me go, no, you know, let me go on P Bandai and place the order down for him. And I did for him and Team Gohan. And yes, I have Team Gohan. So. On to this guy's accessories as well. He's an SH figure, so of course it comes with a lot of accessories. <laughs> oh my goodness, why is it so hard to open? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Real talk, I have been lately been listening to this to the freaking uh, Descendants soundtrack. So, okay, let's go to the faces. Here we have a well. Here we have a uh, a nice series face. It's the exact same as uh, well. This one, if you can tell, just on a different that uh, with this one. This is it. This is his, well, his face for uh, Final Impact. Here we have his grinning face. Here we have his anger, his angry face. You fool, you not know what humiliation, humiliation is, humiliation. I can't talk, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Here we have a nice smirking face. Yeah, he yeah yeah he come he come he come like freaking five faces, but I felt like that uh, two of them are the felt like uh two of them are the exact same because well because well they just do to me for some reason. So I'll go on to the accessory like well the hands duh. It comes with like he, he doesn't come with a lot of hands, which is fair enough. So here we have his his well his final impact hands, the hand he used to do the final impact against Boo. 
And also, you can say the exact same hand that uh, he shot those donut ho those donut rings at Goku <laughs> while while punching Goku in the well in the nuts, and uh, giving Goku his, his uh, backstory about about why uh, about why Goku surpassed him. <laughs> and here we have well, uh, I I like to call these his big bang attack hands, but uh, these are the type of hands he used at the World Tournament when he blew up all those people. Love that scene. I love that scene so much to be honest. Yeah, if you can tell, I'm a Vegeta fan, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be biased in this video. And here we have his well. Here we have the hands that are. Uh, here we have the hands that he made. Where he said, "Now let us begin." <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, we got some effects like uh, like electricity because well. Well, these are part of the aura that he comes with. It's the exact same aura that Super Saiyan 2 Goku. See? He comes with four other, like, light, light effects. Here. But yeah, this is the aura that uh, he comes with. So, sorry about that. And, uh, yeah. It's the exact same aura as it's the exact same aura as uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I like this because I really do need more like aura, like background or effects for for my picture and stop motion, and I, this will be used in my stop motion. So yay for that! Oh yeah, he come with two other like he come with, like he come with like two other effects. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now the size comparison. And uh let's compare to other like boost side characters that I have. Here 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 with the Vent exclusive Super Saiyan 2 Goku that came out. Well I'll say last year, but uh nah bro, that was two years ago this guy came out. It's crazy. Literally, this is literally, that's crazy that he came out two years ago. Oh man, where has the time been? Here he is with the well, he is with the SH figure uh, problem in the Namekian and Piccolo. <sighs> he is with the SH figure Ultimate Gohan, aka my very first SH figure. Fun fact. And this kid is not Boo Saga, but uh, here, here, but here, here with the event exclusive uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, Teen Gohan. And yeah, I do have plans on reviewing this figure too, so don't worry. And yeah, he stands really well. He stands really well with them. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this, uh, this is so good. Hey, Tamashi, where are we getting at Goten and Trunks? Just saying. Because they can be, well, we can use those, to be honest. And now we're gonna compare the Gia to like other figure lines. And back on the SA figure tray here, here you have an SA figure pot of DX, perfect knockout. And here you have a metal cluster hopper. <laughs> yeah. Damn pot though, you're almost the same height as Vegeta. <laughs> You know, I brought some Mayfex with me because, well, I love Mayfex. So, that's the next guy. Here, here with the Mayfex Batterson. I, and I do have plans on taking pictures with this guy really soon. Here, here with the Mayfex Carnage. Again, another figure I gotta go take pictures with and review. And I here, here with the uh, Mayfex TMBA uh, Batman from Batman New Adventures. Oh, and, and that's so good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. But that's so cool right there. All right, let me get on the way.
So overall, what are my thoughts on this guy? Oh, I love this. I love this figure. <laughs> the figure, the figure, man, the, the, the figure, the figure is the copy of the first release, the first release, yes. But at the same time, he does stuff a little bit more better with the chrome uh, hairstyle and the accurate color blue for his outfit. Because I'm sorry, I saw the prototype for the, I saw the prototype of the first of the original release for Maz Vegeta. But by the way, that by the way that release was Pete Bandai. Just to be honest, so with this guy, but still, the prototype version of Maz Vegeta, his outfit was his outfit was this color blue, right? Why the heck did Tamashi change it to an incorrect color blue when they released the figure? I felt like that uh, they probably went back to a prototype and said, you know what, let's use this color shading blue for for this for the event exclusive version. And uh that's what I'm going with. And if that the and, and, and if, like, if that's the case, then uh good. Because well that that prototype looks way better than the original release. And this guy is this guy is remotely superior. And yeah. I love this. He doesn't come with like the final flash hands that um, he doesn't come. He well, oh, sorry. He doesn't come with the exact same exact same like hands that uh, the original release come with. No, but at the same time, if you have like other Vegeta figures, you can use those hands for this figure, and uh, it and uh, it would not change anything. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description, and uh, you know, yeah. Comment down below. What is your favorite moment from Dragon Ball? From Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and Dragon Ball Super. Because Akira Toyama inspired us all for being who we are today. Heck, <laughs> he inspired me. He's the main reason why I made my stop motion series back in back in 2017, Dragon Ball Defenders. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't get into Tokyo either. But yeah, comment down below what is your favorite moment from Dragon Ball, from, any, from all four Dragon Balls here. It could be anyone. I'll, I'm not going to judge. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social description, and uh, put the notification button on for my next video because, well, my next video is probably going to be a gummy review on the, on the Bakio Sentai Operation Memorial Brace. I have that, by the way. I haven't reviewed it because I've been busy. But yeah, that's my next review. And uh, hope you, I hope you all have a nice day or night, maybe a little bit. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. Peace.